questionarei para me informar depois. E aí, foi uma. Since uh, 15 years now. Uh, in fact, I thank God because of uh, what God done in my life. Because this ministry, let's speak the truth, is, is a ministry of compassion and love. Because uh, when I remember from my past life, I can say that without God, through this ministry, remember, it's not possible to be here today. Uh, in 2009, 2009, if I remember, maybe the 17 December 2009, I received the news that I was supposed to come to Ghana. So I came to Ghana and uh, I and my family, we start to continue the work properly as our uh, the former directors who was there, or the former brothers uh, who was there are doing, because I remember the first missionary who came to start in the work here, it was in 1994. I can mention the Pastor Laborda, actually, who is in the Burkina Faso, Pastor Fernando is in Africa. This type of people is them starting the work in Ghana. And uh, Truly, them let us some of the directors start to come. Yes, I remember to prosper and uh, Victor and Wagre. Je suis uh, Fernando uh, Ribeiro. C'est avec ce nom là que le Seigneur m'a appelé pour venir à l'émission uh, au Ghana. C'était en 1994 à notre arrivée. C'était quelque chose d'étrange. Donc, notre vision, ils vivent au milieu de, de la brousse, vivent une cabane, sans électricité, sans l'eau. Et tout ça, c'était complètement différent. Au moment où nous sommes arrivés à Accra, même si à l'époque, n'est pas trop développé. Nous sommes rencontrés une ville avec beaucoup de mouvements et la première maison que nous sommes installés Rema, c'était à Teshima. J'étais à Kumasi avant de me marier. Le moment que j'ai arrivé, nous sommes partis, nous sommes partis marier le travail et le travail a grandi d'une façon formidable. Nous sommes ouvrir une communauté de femmes. Nous, nous sommes ouvert une ferme en Pabami. C'est avec un sac de de ciment que nous sommes à, à construire trois chambres et après le responsable qui est venu euh, il a terminé pour faire le réfectoire et servir aussi pour l'église c'était formidable nous avons de voiture nous vient de commencer et nous fait le culte en Pavami euh, nous sommes sortis de Patas et pour vivre à Pancron et là nous avons trois communautés c'était formidable le pasteur Laborde a reçu un appel en 97 Pour, pour partir au Burkina. Et ça, c'est comme le monde a tombé sur ma tête, parce qu'elle m'a dit, Campagna, c'est toi qui vas descendre à Accra et tu vas prendre la responsabilité du travail ici à Khemargana. Vraiment, je n'ai pas préparé. Et là, vraiment, c'est quelque chose que ça me donne beaucoup de joie. Aujourd'hui, le moment que je visite Khemargana, je suis très content. Et le moment que j'entre de passer la frontière, c'est comme je entre d'entrer à mon pays, je me sens à l'aise, je me sens libre. Aujourd'hui, presque la majorité des de serviteurs qui sont autour de moi, des ouvriers, sont des gagnants. J'ai beaucoup d'admiration pour ce peuple. C'est un peuple joyeux. Et le moment qu'il loue, il loue avec tout son cœur, toute sa force. Que Dieu bénisse. Que Margana, que Dieu bénisse ce pays et que toute la gloire vienne au Seigneur. Since you start the job, you realize that you have a lot of job, a lot of work to do. 
is that you start through the prayer to put in practice the same vision that uh, uh, create school, open uh, different branches, uh, also put a different project down, like uh, the rubber plantation, and uh, by the grace of God, with uh, the workers, we come together in the same vision and we decide to move forward. And uh, you can see that today, by, we have the school, the Shalom Education Center, who is open. Uh, the object is to help our inmate children who are 50, then they can get the possibility to uh, go to the school. But we realize that today, through that school, we have more than 150 children, like say 100 children coming from the various villages from Paco town are coming to the school. of Rima to come and then uh, recruit teachers for a new school being built at uh, their farm near, uh, near Otukojo in the Akwabim South District. So, uh, as I was on retirement, a retiree, I willingly accepted to help them because they, were, they are going to train uh, orphans for the abatement in future. So by and by we managed to open the school on 16 September 2012 for the academic work to start. They brought their children from various schools and uh, the villages around also bring their children from the kindergarten up to the class six. I managed to recruit six teachers as class teachers and two subject teachers, uh, ICT and Ghanaian language. So we are helping the children and the school has taken off well and the children are performing creditably. We have a library, a small library with some books to help the children read during library period. Uh, the school too has managed to give the children lunch every afternoon. So it is helping uh, the children a lot, especially those from the surrounding villages. Presently, the school has 98 children. We lack so many amenities, as I said at first. We need recreational activities, footballs, netballs. The KG has no outdoor games, so it makes teaching and learning very boring there. So still, I am appealing for help for from any individual or organization to come to the aid of the school. And uh, you put the rubber plantation to down. You can see that by the grace of God today, we started more than one year now, 13, are going well. So let me say that all this thing is not belong to man. It's not for me. It's not for anybody. The glory belongs to God Himself. Because Rema is a rehabilitation, Christian rehabilitation center. 
and Rima are working through the love we receive from God and share the same love to our neighbor. Because I cannot say you love God if he doesn't love your neighbor. When you receive the vision to create a Christian village, because we have 40 acre land at Pakofa, that land we can put many projects down in this place. So because of that, we start to build a school. And the school is not the primary school. We have to project to build a GSS and uh, also later a technical school. Apart that, we want to open school part two, second part in the town. Because we want to build a part of the school to build, uh, let's say, women community, women house, couple house with children in the Paco family. Is uh, that let's pull down maybe one or four or five houses who can get the capacity to receive, let's say, uh, 30 children, the family couple, there they can live together in different houses. And uh, we want to build a conference room. And apart that too, we are hope to build a body house, body house for the students, because we have to concentrate our children to the same place. And therefore, we want to build a church, a church too in, the, in that place, and build a new phase, first phase of the habitation for the men, and also build a, a, a training center, training center where the adults, it's like when they come to rehab, they finish the rehabilitation, they can learn also different work, like uh, carpenter, ele electronic, electricity, or mechanic, etc. So this is the vision we have. It's a lot of job, a lot of uh, project, but uh, what I'm saying, we need more money. God can touch the heart of everybody, the society, the company, the factory, people who understand and they can come and support. In this aspect, I want to thank uh, Mr. Biafi. Uh, I'm George Mensa Biafi, the CEO of uh, New Global Pharmaceuticals. We are a manufacturing company. And, uh, we are also export. We are under free zone, uh, of course. So we export mainly to neighboring Francophone countries like uh, Niger, Guinea, and Burkina Faso, so to speak. Actually, I got into contact with Grima Ghana about five years ago. Actually, my own cousin was, was alcoholic. Because of alcohol, he lost the wife. The wife divorced him. Uh, his family was scattered. And uh, through one Alahaji, I got to know of Rema Ghana and then pushed this my cousin. Actually, I applied and then uh, through Mr. Valentine, he was accepted. And then within six months or so, I saw that this my cousin was fully rehabilitated. So today, as I speak, this my cousin is married with good family going about his normal businesses nicely. So I always thought of this as a no. With the kind of job that uh, Rema Ghana is doing, they need support. And then it's part of our company's uh, social responsibility. We've decided to, we've pledged with uh, Rema Ghana, we've decided to support them because they are doing a very wonderful job in this country. Also, I want to profit for the opportunity I have to thank also all the collaborators individually of company who I don't mention, I doesn't mention their names. May God bless them. May God help all of them. For me, it will be a wonderful moment to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Rema Ghana. So, all the glory belongs to God.